Kino. Today, Kino and Alcohol are going to have a great cocktail. Look, you booze it all you want, but you better lay off me. You better stand on your feet, because if you fall on your face, I'm not going to pick you up, you understand? When did you ever have to carry me home? I've always been able to stand on my own two feet. I never needed you, and I never will. Say, what happened to the Campus Big Shot who'd do anything for kids? Campus Big Shot's grown up. Times have changed, Tina. We're not a bunch of kids anymore. Look, I've got plans. You can do all the partying you want. You just better stay out of my way. Stop preaching. I know about your plans. Your experiments in that laboratory. Well, let me tell you something. I have a few experiments of my own I'm just itching to try. And they don't have one thing to do with test tubes and Bunsen burners. Okay, Tina, if that's what you want. Oh, Hank, what's happening to us? So when are you going to get it through your head that life isn't just all fun and games? Okay, okay, no more lectures. We're not even talking the same language anymore. All right, if that's the way you want it, then you just go on your way, and I'll go mine. We'll see who gets the most out of life. Oh, brother, you ain't seen live until you've seen Tina swim. <laughs>
on the ignition for this expedition. Fly me, baby, oh my, oh why I should. Hey, that reminds me. Did I bring my hot dog buns? Gonna get some Willy Howard Bill to fly on the road. Gonna get some Willy Howard Bill to fly on the road. Make a left, make a right, not a cop inside, we'll fly on the road. Let's fly. Shook me up there. You uh, always go around sneaking up on people. Well, I saw you just staring out at the ocean, so I thought I'd come down and talk to you. Hey, everybody, yeah, the Daddy thinks quite a bit of you, you know. Thinks you have a great future. Working with Dr. Gavin has been just about the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, Elaine. But I still have this problem with Tina. It's always on my mind. 
Oh, I'm sure Tina will come around to your way of thinking. She's bound to realize what she has in you, huh? Well, we'll see.
Just looking at that little cloud up there by the sun and thinking it might rain. I guess everybody interprets the world according to his own mood. <laughs> well, no weather is good for a funeral. In my business, I try to avoid them. Elaine, it's 9.30. I guess she'd be abnormal if she were on time. How's she taking it? It's not easy for any of us. A lot of families have been affected by this. It helps her to know she's not alone. Hmm. Here's the sample that you asked for. I'm going to run some carbon-14 tests on this tissue. There have been some recent discoveries in the field of genetics that may give us a clue to its structure. Good luck, Doc. Thanks. Bye. Oh, you're ready. 
You do understand why I'm not going, don't you, dear? Of course, Daddy. Everybody knows how hard you've been working. You gonna pick up Hank on the way? Yes. Daddy, I'm so upset about Hank. Here I am going to Tina's funeral, and I have such feelings about him. What kind of feelings? I don't know. Is it because he's free now? Yes. I suppose so. You go ahead, dear. I'll get to work. It's a human thing, Dr. Gavin. It's a human evil thing lurking and creeping and crawling around out there in the night. I know it. I feel it. You mustn't talk like that. A great deal of the ocean is still a mystery to us. There are undoubtedly forms of life that we know nothing about. It's the voodoo. That's what it is. Now, that's ridiculous, Eula Bell. I want you to get this idea of voodoo out of your head. I have no doubt we'll find a perfectly reasonable explanation for the girl's death. Maybe you're right. But the police have been looking and they haven't found anything. They've been running around here like headless chickens. And you've been looking and reading and what have you found? Nothing is solved in a few hours. This will require a lot of research. And while you are researching, there's something creeping and crawling and lurking around out there? That's enough. Voodoo, that's what it is. You'd better go to bed, Eula Bell. Did you lock up? Lock, double lock, and triple lock. Ain't no monsters gonna get in here tonight. It's the voodoo, all right. Hi, Daddy. Hello, dear. I thought you were going out tonight. Oh, I was, but it's just another slumber party. They're all the same, so I'm not really missing anything. Did you let him know you weren't coming? No. Don't you think you should? Oh, Daddy, I just don't see how you can even think of such a thing after what happened to Tina. Tina's death has affected a great many people, but it doesn't give you or anyone else the right to be discourteous. Oh, all right. I'll go telephone. Oh! <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Libby. I'm glad I called, Daddy. It was the right thing to do. Oh, that is the fortune of all womankind. They're always controlled. Always Controlled by their parents until they are wise.
Come on. What are they doing? I smell something awful. Smells like dead fish. Oh, I hope they don't throw fish again. Like they did last year. Shh. Quiet, girls. Everybody keep quiet. I'll turn off the lights. Okay, boys. The door's <laughs> open. of an invasion from the sea took on a new dimension last night when over 20 teenage girls were brutally attacked and murdered during a slumber party. A survivor described these monsters differently from those which terrorized the beach only a few days ago. But Dr. Gavin, special consultant for the police, suggested that these beings probably have different forms in the same way that human beings vary in size and shape. Meanwhile, specialists from all over the United States converged on our city in an attempt to piece together the scattered reports of attacks in a massive effort to find out the identity of these strange creatures from the sea. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, we better skip this town. This is the place where they're having all the trouble. Cops? No, murders by the hundreds. Some kind of monsters killing people and drinking their blood. Ooh, it gives me the creeps. Imagine being that thirsty. Oh, very funny, Miss Ghoul. I read all about it in the papers. This town's too hot for my blood. Well, you know what I mean. Listen, girls, I need some gas. We better stop and we'll get some directions, too. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? He's cute, isn't he? Fill me up, huh? Sure.
Hey, what's this out here about all these murders you've been having around here? Oh, yeah, it's a big deal. That they got a big investigation going on. Uh, they got guys coming up here from Washington and everything. Hey, we better get out of here, girls. You aren't kidding. Hey, handsome, what's the fastest way to get to New York? Well, I guess the best way is to um, go down here to Wire Mill Road, uh, and you turn left and uh, go two blocks over, and uh, then you turn right and you go past the quarry, and uh, you'll uh, see the throughway right on the other side. You can't miss it. Thanks. How much do I owe you? That's uh, $4, please. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. But I'm driving. You want to crack us up? No, New York a bus. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a road. A flat tire. Now what do we do? Flo needs help with the wheel. Down by that quarry. Something must have died in there. It smells like the food and fish market in the middle of July. How's it going, hun? Well, I got it off, but I can't see nothing. How about some help? Okay. Hey, hold it, you two. What's with you? I heard something. Oh, if it ain't money rustling, it ain't worth hearing. Shh. Hold it, I hear something, too. It sounds like somebody, somebody big walking in mud. Your wigs or something?
had my share of the misery too, Miss Elaine, and I know what it is. Three brothers and two sisters, all dead and gone. But you don't see me going around moaning and groaning all day. I have my work, and the Lord has his, and he takes care of us wherever we are. Why, what's this, Eula Bell? Oh, that's mine. Give it to me. It's a voodoo doll, isn't it? You really believe in it. Now, don't you go teasing, Miss Elaine. I know a lot more things than I say. Eula Bell, there's no such thing as voodoo. Who is it, anyway? One of them zombies. Dr. Gavin was so worried, I thought I could help. Well, somebody's got to do something. Hello, Mr. Hay. Come Hello, in. Hello, Mr. Here's that nice young boy just pining to take you out. Now, quit your moaning and groaning and go out and have some fun. Father didn't need me this afternoon, Elaine. Well, I thought uh, maybe you'd like to go for a drive or something. Oh, I don't know, Hank. Now, go on upstairs and change. He'll wait. Look, uh, I don't mind waiting. You go ahead and change. All right. Why did you come back to the beach, Hank? I don't know, Elaine. I had a funny feeling about this place. Come on, let's go. What's happening? How you doing, gang? Pretty dead tonight, huh, Ron? Yeah, ever since Tina got killed, like, no action around here. Yeah, well, it'll pick up. Take it Take easy. Take it easy. Ron? What are you going to play? What'd you like to hear, Elaine? How about, mm, you're not a summer love? Mm, just for you, baby. Hi. Excuse me, Hank. Sure, go ahead.
be true, I'll be true to you forever. Oh, my darling, tell me, tell me you'll be mine forever. Good night, girls. Now you go straight home. My brother's coming to pick us up. Good night, now. Good night, Good night Johnny. Johnny. He's not coming. Let's walk. Necessities of human life, proteins, fats, sugars, and so forth. But since his organs are so decomposed that they can neither produce nor retain the oxygen necessary for its survival, it needs the only food which can keep it alive. Blood. Human blood. If a human body, a drowned person, were attacked by tiny sea plants which became parasites and completely dead? No, it's still alive. But it's changed into a... Well, is it a plant or an animal? It's both. It's a giant protozoa. Dr. Gavin, can they be killed? I don't know, Lieutenant. They are the living dead. They're zombies. Nothing so dramatic as that, Elaine. They're more like a jellyfish. You can't kill them by shooting them or cutting them up. Well, then how can you kill them?
afraid you gave us quite a scare. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Gavin. But it's so quiet up there in the house. And I get scared by myself all alone at night. And them zombies, they're coming at me tonight. I just know they will. Look, it's burning up. You look better, you've killed it. Oh, Dr. Garrett, I'm sorry, I didn't no, mean No, don't to... be sorry, this is wonderful. You've discovered a way to destroy these creatures. Oh, Lord, Lord. Look, completely dehydrated. Protozoans are almost all water. This is all we have left. But what makes all the smoke and steam, Daddy? Sodium. Plain old sodium. Hank, you remember your chemistry. Sodium is a very unstable metal that reacts violently with water. That's right. Then they can be killed with sodium. They can, if we can find them. Same to you, fella! What about that guy, huh? We are unwanted outcasts, orphans of the storm. What storm? The storm of my soul. Right. Where do we go now? We'll drive. Are you capable of driving? Of course I'm capable. Are you capable? Of course I am. Where's the car? That away. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'll get my car. Ah. You, you wait here, I'll get my car. We weren't capable of all. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. It is. No, it's you. Let's hear you walk. <laughs> no, it's not you. Now you walk. That's no, not you either. Sounds like somebody in in rubbers filled with water. You wearing rubbers? No. Me neither. That's probably probably somebody came from the swimming pool and came from swimming with their with their suits and shots on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so funny. That's probably some old drunk. God, I hate hey, drunk. Hey, Sam. Oh. Yeah. Truck. They left their lights on. Yeah. Well, we better go turn them off. Yeah, save his battery, for heaven's sake. Uh. 
Hey, Stan, there's a guy in here. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> what are you doing? You sleeping? Huh? Oh, buddy. <laughs> that leaves the harbor every week. You see, it's been dumping waste material from the reactor at the university. Do you know where they dump? See, a friend of mine said he saw them once out at, at Western Island, I believe. Western Island, Western Island. Here it is. Look at these currents, Hank. If one of those containers sprung a leak, the waste would be drawn right by our shore. And that's where Tina was killed that first night. Western Island is also where that fishing boat went down just a few weeks ago. These creatures are human bodies kept alive by radioactive decay. So wherever they go, they leave radioactive water. So all we have to do is to test the water to know where they've been. Right, when we can tell where they are. At this minute, wherever they are, they're building up a small and harmless radioactive residue in the surrounding water. Our Geiger counters will give a scale 15 reaction to that water. So, so what we have to do is just test all the water in the immediate area. And if they're in one of those lakes, well, we'll get a scale reading from the counter, right? Right. I'll call the police. We'll organize and get all the people in the countryside to help us. Then all we have to do is find them, and sodium will kill them. All right, Dr. Gavin. Say, Dr. Gavin. We don't know how many there are. We, we might need... Tons of it. You get on the phone and call every chemical supply company in the area. Someone must carry sodium in large quantities. I'll call Lieutenant Wells and get this thing started. If we're quick, we may stop these monsters before in the night of killing. Right, Dr. Gavin. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Now, these are instructions and map coordinates. You to break up into separate teams. Each team is to organize a search and 
in that specific area. And there are a limited number of Geiger counters. But more are being brought up from New York, so don't worry about it. You'll have them by the end of the afternoon. I want you to find every single body of water in your area. And be sure it's tested. You've got to be sure that those things haven't been there. Let's get going. Julebel, nobody has any sodium. They all get their supply on special order from New York City. Did you try everybody in the telephone book? Yeah, almost. All but a couple. Well, you try that couple. You've got to try, Mr. Hank. Well, go on. All right, Julebel. I'll call New York City. <sighs> Hello, operator. Would you please get the uh, Manhattan Chemical Supply Company in New York City? That's right. Hello. Listen, do you carry any sodium? That's right, the metal. You do? Well, listen. Listen, do you have a lot of it? Well, will you hang on to it for me? Hank Green. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'll, I'll be there in about an hour. So I brought you some coffee. Oh, good, thank you. Any luck with your water testing, Dr. Gaming? Absolutely no luck. I must have tested at least ten places and didn't find a thing. Well, Mr. Hank found that chemical, what you call it. Oh, good. And he's gone off to New York to get it. But he won't get back before dark. And Elaine? Where's Elaine? Well, she's gone off too, Dr. Gaming. I think she mentioned Fingal's Quarry. Fingal's Quarry? Yes, sir. Good God, why didn't I think of that before? That's the deepest body of water around here, and it's right where those three girls were killed. Oh. When Hank gets here, tell him I've gone to Fingal's Quarry. Yes, sir. And call the police and tell them to meet me there. Yes, sir.
east on Route 104 in Gray MG and proceed to Finkel's Quarry. Over. Will do immediately.
Hey, come in. Hello, you LaBelle. Say, is uh, Miss Elaine receiving today? I think she's asleep. Uh, let's check. All right. We interrupt this program of Burning Melodies to bring you a special bulletin. Late last night, our police force, with the assistance of Dr. Richard Gavin, located the hiding place of the monsters from the sea. Local officials assured all citizens that the invasion of the sea zombies is over. We return you now to Morning Melody. Hank. Hello, darling. How's the leg? Oh, it's much better. I just saw your father, and he's been burned badly, but he'll be fine. And he'll be back from the hospital within a week. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. 